Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watch One. Thanks for logging on. If you were following the watch industry trade shows this year, both at Salon International in Geneva and at Basel World, Blue was back in a big way. But at Breitling, Blue never really went away because from 2001 to 2007, Breitling produced this unique Navitimer Heritage model, a tribute to their classical aviation circular slide roll chronograph. The Navitimer Heritage takes the style of the traditional pilot instrument and it combines it with a stunning metallic soleil blue dial with matching calibrated bezel and a robust 43 millimeter case with modern size and wrist presence. I'm going to put it on the wrist and take a look at this extraordinary piece because this is one of the most memorable Breitling Navitimer models that I've had the pleasure of presenting on the channel. It reminds me a little bit of the similarly colored, similarly detailed Breitling Navitimer Honor Flight Special Edition. This one features an additional mechanical wrinkle that I'll focus on in a moment, which is a flyback chronograph feature. But I want to talk a bit about that dial. First and foremost, it has a very subtle graining to it. So as you move it through the light, and I'm sorry, but the iPhone really betrays me here, you can see that there is an outward radiant texturing to it, a graining that projects outward from the cannon pinion and adds a lot of animation to the play of light on the dial in person. It's quite complex and because the calibrated outer race of the dial as well as the calibrated bezel itself, the dished portion, are all in a matching blue tone, it visually expands to a larger proportion of dial to bezel than I'm used to seeing on the Navitimer, although this is a modern 43 millimeter watch, it reads even larger without actually taking up more real estate on the wrist. It's a cool visual trick, and because the dial has that metallic element, it sparkles and it reacts to the play of light over its surface. It's a unique look, and this is one that you're going to have to see on our website in high resolution images to fully appreciate. Now, on the wrist, the watch sits quite securely on my wrist, six and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference. My wrist is a little bit below average in size, but probably average in profile. Somewhat oval, flattish across the top. The watch doesn't overarch or have any sense that it wants to hula hoop around my wrist. It's nicely balanced out by a robust, full polished Navitimer seven link bracelet, and it's got a equally robust and substantial flip lock clasp on the bottom that I'll show you in a moment. But the mass of the watch is nicely distributed. Although it is more than 150 grams, really closer to 200 than 150, the watch doesn't feel oppressively heavy. There's a satisfying substance to it. And with the high polish and that Soleil metallic blue dial, it really has a premium sheen to it. Now, although it's 14 millimeters thick, so it's not going to fit under the tightest of long sleeves, the watch does have a graceful formality to it that would play well with formal attire. So. This is the watch you would wear with everything but perhaps a bathing suit with 30 meter water resistance. This is a true pilot's watch, splash only protection here, but the look is as versatile as they come. The blue is still going to play as a relatively dark dial in combination with a white metal case, and as I want to say, that is probably the most versatile watch color palette combination. Now. In 1952, Breitling launched the first ever Navitimer. The significance of this model to those who might be new to Breitling or new to the Navitimer is that it was the first, the Navitimer that is, the first watch to be launched with a logarithmic scale in a circular slide rule around the dial itself. It's calibrated so that pilots can perform all of the in-flight calculations necessary for climbing, for calculating fuel consumption, for calculating their airspeed, their ground speed, their drift, and this was a revolutionary breakthrough at the time, such that it became the official watch of the AOPA, the world's largest aircraft owners and pilots association. And there are rumors um, whispered online that the watch may have actually been designed for the AOPA to AOPA specs. Breitling's not going to share any credit. They claim the watch came out in 52. It was all their own idea. What is certain is that the very first circular slide rule watch was the MIMO Loga of 1941, and Breitling's first was the 1942 Chronomat, but the Navitimer will live forever as the first watch that truly combined all the elements necessary to calculate a pilot's full workload in flight. 
and it's lived in immortality ever since as the longest continuously produced mechanical chronograph model. Heck, the longest continuously produced chronograph model of any kind in any watchmaker's catalog in the world. Just as much as the Speedmaster Professional is the icon of Omega and the Submariner is the icon of Rolex, the Navitimer is the face of Breitling. The Solothurn-based company has built its house on the reputation of its pilot's watches, and this is the definitive Breitling pilot's watch. And in this iteration, with the Soleil metallic blue dial and the 43mm case, it's a fantastic companion for the modern man. Looks just as good in a formal setting, in a business setting, in an office setting as it does in the cockpit. And this one with the Breitling Caliber 35 features another unique element to complement the dial, and that is a flyback chronograph function. One touch automatically resets all the registers, returns the seconds hand to the index at 12, and restarts the chronograph seamlessly. Now the Caliber 35 is based on the ETA 2892A2 base module. Very thin, very fine, and very tough. I've actually crashed one on a bike ride, and I came out worse for wear than the movement itself, which was still ticking away accurately in my Omega. It features a date, automatic winding, hacking seconds so that you can actually stop the balance and stop the seconds hand when you pull the crown for precise synchronization to a reference time. And you're going to want that kind of setting precision because the watch is a COSC certified Swiss chronometer. I'll note that the watch does not say flyback or COSC or chronometer anywhere on its dial, but it does incorporate both of those features. Now on the case back, the watch features conversion calibrations for performing flight calibrations between liters and gallons. And it also features chronograph and chronomet, just so you know I'm not making up that uh, verbiage about the COSC certification. Solid case back as most Navitimers have been historically. This one is designed in the image of a vintage watch with the size and wrist presence and craft quality of a modern watch. See it in outstanding condition on our website, Watch You Want. Everything from this beautiful radiant Soleil dial to this robust flip lock clasp that I have to say closes with a very satisfying and very solid snick. This is a Breitling in every sense of the word. Beautiful, robust, technical, with a fantastic history and outstanding manufacture quality. Check out this Breitling Navitimer Heritage reference A35350 on our website, Watch You Want.